What's good, YouTube? It's Mr. Spartan King, and I'm back, as I promised. The first episode of Making History 2, World of World. Well, there's a ton of countries to choose of, and I decided to go with Hungary just for the first one, just so I can let you guys know what's good in this game. And, uh, yeah, so, basically, in this game, uh, you just gotta build up, uh, build up your troops, conquer as much territory as you can before the end of the turn limit, and it's, like I said, it starts in 1939, and we gotta research all the way to get, the things that are highlighted in green and stuff we already researched, but if we wanna get we we ultimately want to get to get to the space age and get ICBMs where we could just nuke everybody if we feel if we feel like it. And I right hear is manpower, manpower, resources you need to build stuff, and we can research here with our stuff. Like I'm gonna research auto auto fire tech so I can get heavy artillery and artillery and stuff. And then here, I could build, I could re recruit troops, so which I'm probably going to do now. And then, we're going to want to build up our arms in order to keep our, our army up to max speed. So, I'm probably going to do that in a, in a different city, like right here. Boom. And then, once we run out of manpower, it turns red, which means we don't have enough resources to do that. But, if we wanted to, we could uh, go here. Click this, and we'll be producing arms off of coal, off of coal and iron. Then we got our oil, and we got our uh, food right here. So let's go ahead and uh, end the first turn. All right, so I just, I just ended the first turn. As you can see, we also get notifications about what's going on around the world and stuff. Like over here, Nazi Germany, um, Poland's over here too. Now they got another thing that's in this game is pretty cool is uh, you can have puppet states where you can take over a country and not necessarily annex them, but but you could uh, but you could um, make them your puppets or you could have uh, the computer create armies for you and then I'll help you out and whatever you're doing. So and right here I'm gonna go here I'm gonna upgrade my coal. And stuff. Let me know if the freaking music in this game gets pretty freaking annoying because it does. If you want me, and let me know in the comments if you want me to play other music as well because this music is pretty boring. And then we got, uh, oh, we also got the budget and we got the stability, reach the stability. So if that goes to zero, we'll have a bunch of other uh, stuff for our country like. Democrats, communists, fascists, and authority. We're authority right now. And that's our food. As you can see, we are still at 100% filled. So, go ahead and end it or turn. The only thing about this game, if you play a small country like these, it's really hard to compete to uh, fight off these big ones like Germany, Italy, France, and the US and Britain. Those are those countries are mainly the ones that people uh, that you can use to like conquer like a lot of people. But I like playing with small countries because you could build them up from being little things into uh, really strong countries where you can actually be be able to to do stuff and conquer other countries as well. So let's see, we got three, so we could build we could build twelve more troops. So I think I'm gonna do that. The only bad thing about this game is that the music is pretty freaking annoying. That's the only really bad thing. Oh, and then the more tr the more territory we capture, the more uh, manpower we'll be able to get. So we're gonna wanna conquer some territory. Maybe join a couple alliances. Not get too tied up with the German alliance though. Because we can get our butts whooped. 
It all depends how it goes. See who we ally with. So. Like right now, I'm just trying to to increase our our um, our army size to to where it when I'm producing arms, it's not as much so we don't go down in our army supply go to zero we just want it to be at least five so we can build 17 more troops so no we can build 12 more because we got we're producing 20 so and each each unit takes up one or two depending if it's artillery or tanks so and plus right now i'm losing money we're gonna go to a negative budget pretty soon but we can we could uh, do something about it though. Well, it, well, it shouldn't be that much of a bad thing. And if you hear people moving and talking around, it's my family. There's where since we don't have school today, so so yeah. If you hear if my little my little brothers come around yelling and crazy, it's because they want to disrupt me from recording. So they're trying to do that to mess with me. So it really don't matter. I just tell them to say hi if they do end up walking by and making a shit ton of noise, but you know, it's what it is, what it is. Like I said, all we gotta do is just build up our cities, make money, and then we gotta we gotta build up an army. Maybe maybe try to take over some territory from uh, Romania and stuff. So. And then there you hear my little, my brother fucking laughing his ass off. Probably playing Halo and probably playing uh, 2K or something like that, but whatever. Yeah, so let me know in the comments, and uh, if you want me to change the, if you want me to play different type of music than this. Yeah, so that's the only bad thing is that using the Turtle Beach. Like you can hear everybody around you. I don't know if you could uh, lower it down the background volume or not, but oh, we just built our, th our one of our troops. So let's see, we're up to three. So build. We don't want to build tanks yet because we got no oil. So artillery. The key here is the key always in this game is to always keep your your army at a hundred percent because. Usually countries like these, they, they go down to like zero and then like they'll have a shit ton of troops. But if you have your army at 100%, you'll be able to kill them no matter if they're at 100%. Since the AI always mass produces their army and they just kill their own economy. Well, we try to be like the one country that has like a good economy so that everybody could, wants to trade with us. So, so see here we have got nobody trading yet because we got our resources aren't that good. So... Right here, I'm gonna expand the coil, the coal, and over here we can upgrade this. Upgrade that. The only bad thing about doing this is that it creates a lot of um, a lot of maintenance fees. Saying like, when I go here, you can see that this is how much income we're making. This is how much we're spending on maintenance cost. National programs also and imports and it you can see the net balance is right here and income is right there. So God damn it, the music's so freaking loud. There we go. God damn, that was so loud. Yeah, so this is a. Uh, Episode one today. I'm gonna try to make two and three today also. So, and then once we complete 125 turns, play as Hungary. I'll choose a different country. We'll play as a bit. We'll go from there. So, we're gonna try to do a playthrough for every single country. The only bad part is that when we start playing as as like Kuwait, Qatar, and Yemen. And oh man, you got you can't do shit because there there is just it's just all bad. As and then if we if we play as Luxembourg, we always get our assets taken over by Germany, so that's not gonna work out. 